In mathematics, a trace class operator is a compact operator for which a trace may be defined, such that the trace is finite and independent of the choice of basis. Trace class operators are essentially the same as nuclear operators, though many authors reserve the term trace class operator for the special case of nuclear operators on Hilbert spaces, and reserve nuclear operator for usage in more general Banach spaces. Topic. Definition A bounded linear operator A over a separable Hilbert space H is said to be in the trace class if for some and hence all orthonormal bases ek k of H, the sum of positive terms A 1 equals Tr A equals K A A 1 2 E K E K display style a underscore one equals operator name tr a equals sum underscore k langle a carrot asterisk a carrot one half e underscore k e underscore k wrangle is finite. In this case, the trace of a, which is given by the sum tr a equals k a E K E K display style operator name tr a equals sum underscore k langle air underscore k e underscore k wrangle is absolutely convergent and is independent of the choice of the orthonormal basis. When H is finite dimensional, every operator is trace class, and this definition of trace of a coincides with the definition of the trace of a matrix. By extension, if A is a non-negative self-adjoint operator, we can also define the trace of A as an extended real number by the possibly divergent sum k A E K E K display style sum underscore k Langle air underscore k E underscore k wrangle topic. Properties Topic Lidsky's theorem Let a display style A be a trace class operator in a separable Hilbert space H display style H and let Lambda N A N equals 1 n display style lambda underscore n a underscore n equals 1 carrot n n infinity display style n leq inf t be the eigenvalues of a display style a let us assume that lambda n a display style lambda underscore n a are enumerated with algebraic multiplicities taken into account i e if the algebraic multiplicity of lambda display style lambda is k display style k then lambda display style lambda is repeated k display style k times in the list lambda one a lambda two a display style lambda underscore one a lambda underscore two a dots. Lidsky's theorem, named after Viktor Borisovich Lidsky, states that n equals one n lambda n a equals tr a. Display style sum underscore n equals one carrot n lambda underscore n a equals operator name T R A. Note that the series in the left hand side converges absolutely due to Wales inequality n equals one n lambda n a m equals one m s M 
a display style sum underscore n equals one carrot n lambda underscore n a l e q sum underscore m equals one carrot m s underscore m a between the eigenvalues lambda n a n equals one n display style lambda underscore n a underscore n equals one carrot n and the singular values S M A M equals one M display style S underscore M A underscore M equals one carrot M of a compact operator A display style A C E G topic relationship between some classes of operators. One can view certain classes of bounded operators as noncommutative analog of classical sequence spaces, with trace class operators as the noncommutative analog of the sequence space L1n. Indeed, it is possible to apply the spectral theorem to show that every normal trace class operator on a separable Hilbert space can be realized in a certain way as an L1 sequence, with respect to some choice of a pair of Hilbert bases. In the same vein, the bounded operators are noncommutative versions of L infinity n, the compact operators that of C0, the sequences convergent to zero, Hilbert-Schmidt operators correspond to L2 n, and finite rank operators, the sequences that have only finitely many non-zero terms. To some extent, the relationships between these classes of operators are similar to the relationships between their commutative counterparts. Recall that every compact operator T on a Hilbert space takes the following canonical form. H element of H T H equals I equals one alpha I H V I U I where alpha I zero and alpha Zero display style for all h in h t h equals sum underscore i equals one alpha underscore i langle h v underscore i wrangle u underscore i quad m box where quad alpha underscore i g e q zero quad m box and quad alpha underscore i right arrow zero for some orthonormal bases u i and v i making the above heuristic comments more precise we have that t is trace class if the series i alpha i is convergent t is hilbert schmidt if i alpha i2 is convergent and t is finite rank if the sequence alpha i has only finitely many non-zero terms the above description allows one to obtain easily some facts that relate these classes of operators for example, the following inclusions hold and they are all proper when H is infinite dimensional, finite rank trace class Hilbert Schmidt compact. The trace class operators are given the trace norm T1. Topic <tr> TR T asterisk T 1 half I alpha I. The norm corresponding to the Hilbert Schmidt inner product is T2. Topic TRT asterisk T one half I alpha I two one half. Also, the usual operator norm is T equals supi alpha I. By classical inequalities regarding sequences T T two T one Display style T LEQ T underscore two LEQ T underscore one for appropriate t. It is also clear that finite rank operators are dense in both trace class and Hilbert Schmidt in their respective norms. <laughs> trace class is the dual of compact operators The dual space of C0 is L1 n. Similarly, we have that the dual of compact operators, denoted by potassium hydride asterisk, is the trace class operators, denoted by C1. The argument, which we now sketch, is reminiscent of that for the corresponding sequence spaces. Let f element of potassium hydride asterisk, we identify f with the operator Tf defined by 
T F X Y equals F S X Y Display style Langle T underscore F X Y Wrangle equals F S underscore X Y Where S X Y is the rank one operator given by S X Y H equals H Y X Display style S underscore X Y H equals Langle H Y Wrangle X this identification works because the finite rank operators are norm dense in potassium hydride. In the event that TF is a positive operator, for any orthonormal basis UI, one has I T F U I U I equals F I F Display style sum underscore i Langle T underscore F U underscore I U underscore I Wrangle equals F I L E Q F where I is the identity operator I equals I U I U I Display style I equals sum underscore I Langle C D O T U underscore I Wrangle U underscore I but this means TF is trace class. An appeal to polar decomposition extend this to the general case where TF need not be positive. A limiting argument via finite rank operators shows that TF 1 equals F. Thus potassium hydride asterisk is isometrically isomorphic to C1 equals topic as the predual of bounded operators Equals. Recall that the dual of L1 n is L infinity n. In the present context, the dual of trace class operators C1 is the bounded operators B H. More precisely, the set C1 is a two-sided ideal in B H. So, given any operator t in B H, we may define a continuous linear functional phi t on C1. Display style C underscore one. By phi t a equals tr at this correspondence between bounded linear operators and elements phi t of the dual space of C one display style C underscore one is an isometric isomorphism. It follows that B H is the dual space of C one display style C underscore one. This can be used to define the weak asterisk topology on B H equals equals notes <laughs>